Good morning, Capricorn, and welcome to my channel. This is the Oracle of Zoraya Utranaya, and today I'll be doing a reading for you for the week of May the 19th to the 25th, 2024. I've already cut your decks and I've shuffled them all five times each, utilizing the numerology of the date, May the 19th, 2024. So let's dive right in. First card we have for you today is the Tower. All right. I really love this deck. So the tower, the tower, the tower, the tower, holding on to something that is crumbling, <laughs> holding on to things that are needing to collapse, holding a little bit too tight to the past maybe. So the tower is a card that represents the energy of Mars, okay? Mars uh, is the god of war, of, um, very hot and heavy emotions of anger. And you see the tower has been built up too high into the sky and people in the tower have lost their view on reality. Perhaps you are holding tight to a reality or to the past that doesn't exist anymore and you're clinging on to it for dear life. Perhaps what is going on in the world is a little bit too chaotic for you. You are clinging to the truths of what the world used to be like because more truths are coming out now and the world is not what it once was. And you are holding on to the remnants of the world that used to be. So paying attention to what is happening in the world right now, you can choose your reaction. You can choose if you're focusing on the destruction, on the collapse. And you can, that can bring you in a, into a state of fear that can lower your vibrational frequency into a fear-based one which is what a lot of the mainstream media and the uh, top people in the world, I don't like calling them elite. That is what they would like you to live in fear because people are more easily manipulated and able to be controlled when they are in a state of fear. This is why on the news, you see a, it's just fear. It's not even like the news like we used to have back in the day in the 80s and the 90s where there was actual journalism about stories. All the mainstream media right now is government funded and it's propaganda and it's meant to keep you in a state of fear, to keep you glued onto the TV so they can spew onto you their narratives. <laughs> and uh, it keeps you, fear keeps you in a state of being frozen or like a deer in headlights where you are constantly focused on your external environment, fear to go outside, fear to pursue your higher purpose. It, it keeps you stuck and it keeps you from developing yourself into your full highest potential. So when you, when this is happening all around the world, we have, we have Pluto oscillating its dance. It's going into Aquarius. Aquarius is the sign of people of community, of grassroots movements, technology. Capricorn is top-down authoritarian structure. Okay, this is just general, not about you, okay? This is globally. So we have here, Pluto is, the, is a planet of change and transformation and death and rebirth. So our world is going through this right now. So you have the choice to, in how you're going to respond to this. Are you going to be stuck in a state of fear and just be glued to the TV while everything is collapsing you, clinging onto a world that doesn't exist anymore? Or are you going to utilize this to take this opportunity of collapse to build something of yourself, to build the life that you really want to build, to become who you are truly meant to become. On the normal Rider Waite deck, there's two people 
either jumping out of this tower or falling out one or pushed out are you going to let your external circumstances push you out and or or make you fall out of a window to your own demise or are you going to take initiative and ownership of your life and jump out of the window before the building collapses and you burn do you have internal locus of control or do you have external locus of control what controls your life you or the external world with every collapse and every reset there's opportunity to build something new so what are you going to build What are you going to plant to grow? Seven of Pentacles is a card of analyzing where you're putting your focus on and whether or not you are being reciprocated for the energy that you are inputting into something. Are you getting something back that is equal or greater value? So if this is a project, you are working on if this is some sort of creative endeavor if this is some sort of uh, entrepreneurship or even in your job are you working very very hard and getting paid in a fair uh, in a fair reciprocation are you being paid reciprocally like balanced are you being compensated well enough based on your efforts and your job profile? Do you get enough time off? Do you get to enjoy your hobbies and your time away from work? Do you get appreciated at work? Or do they take you for granted? Or do you not get paid enough? Have you asked for promotions and they've declined it? Are you getting reciprocated back for the energy that you're putting out? The same goes with a relationship. Are you getting reciprocated with the energy that you're putting into the relationship? Or is it just a one-way street? That can go both ways for you. You might not be pull, uh, pulling your own weight. Whatever seeds you have planted, you need to, to stop and look at what has grown. Look at the gestation process. Has it grown and yielded the crop of the fruit that you wanted or do you need to change course maybe some things that have worked out in the past bore the fruit that you wanted but maybe you don't like apples anymore and maybe you need to change the course something is something is is not in alignment anymore here what once was an alignment is now collapsing and you're being encouraged to assess the situation to determine if you're going to continue on with the endeavor that you are pursuing with the seeds that you have planted or is it time to call your losses and plant a different crop, move somewhere else, get another job, break up with someone, or, or put some more work into it. Maybe you need to add some fertilizer to your crop. Some different ideas, some different strategies, going to therapy with your partner. What else can you do to make your crop better if you're going to stay, stay the course? But you, that you're being encouraged to assess if, if things are working or not, if this is going in the direction that you want to go or not. And if, is this the right thing to be focusing on right now? Same with the, watching the news. Are you getting out of it? Are you being informed? Or are you being indoctrinated? Are you, is this helping you move forward in your life? This news that is being provided to you or is it making you live in a state of fear? So that, that's something else to pay attention to. So something that 
you have been working on is collapsing or like it, you are being asked to maybe collapse it because you're not being reciprocated for the energy that you are putting into it. And you are being encouraged to take the leap of faith and to start something new. The Knight of Wands is the builder of the tarot. He has a lot of energy to start new things. He's got impetuous energy. He leads with his passion. The passion drives him. He puts his thoughts and uh, his thoughts and goals into action. He's very action oriented. And he likes to take risk. So what is collapsing right now? The financial system. <laughs> The financial system is collapsing. We have the seven of pentacles. You need to also analyze where your money is right now. Um, so, you know, the global reserve currency right now is the American dollar. Countries around the world are trying to dethrone the American dollar from being the global hegemon that is being used to uh, sell oil and commodities across the globe. So countries, instead of wanting to hold and to buy and hold American dollars, they're wanting to utilize their own local currencies. Everything is going digital. Everything is going to be on a blockchain. There's going to be some cryptos that are going to be uh, utilized in this new digital world, providing liquidity and so the seven of pentacles, normally there's a gentleman looking at the pentacles that he's grown, his money, his assets. Are they working for you or are you going to need, during this collapse, perhaps you're going to need to take a little bit more risk. Try things outside the box. But do your research, okay? Because the dollar is, is definitely, and there's going to be some bank banking collapses as well. They're coming. They are coming. Okay. So take 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 heed of this message. It's not financial advice, but start looking into whether or not you your you are being reciprocated for where your money is and try to look down the road. Keep your ear to the ground with respect that's going on globally. Because the there is a collapse and a reset going to be taking place. There's going to be more of a distributed equality with respects to countries and their economies. But make sure that you are building something of your own. If it, so I know that some people don't have investments and stuff. I don't have investments either, but... I am trying to navigate this way going forward. I do have some investments and some digital assets here, but like I said, there's opportunity when things collapse. So what can you build? Focus on your internal, your, your immediate environment, become self-sufficient. And utilize this energy that you have to build something for yourself and to build something new. Be the person that is jumping out of the building and not being pushed out by the world. Jump out before it's too late. All right, with the tower, yep. Yeah. The seven of pentacles again. So this is what I was talking about, right? He's looking at his investments. He's looking at his money. Where his money is, what what the what he has yielded from his investments, or where he's putting his money, and maybe you need to leave and go somewhere else. Now, if this is not about money, it's about energy recipro being reciprocated. So, like I said, with this, you need to go to the new. If there, if you are not being reciprocated at work properly, if you're not being, one second, someone's starting to cut their grass here. We go. If you're not being compensated well enough at work, you need to leave or start planting seeds to leave. 
put your resume out there, update your, your, your LinkedIn, update your website, try to seek new advertising going, uh, to market yourself. He's got what he needed out of this. There's always things that you've learned from, from each situation, each relationship, each job. But you're being encouraged to even maybe like go out on your own and start your own thing here. Take that risk. So this is, can be risks about investments, but this can also be risks about what you're doing with your life. Maybe you need to step out on your own here and build your own business. Okay, but you're being, he, he's analyzed what, what kind of, what he has yielded from the work he has put into something. And he's deciding that he's taking what he needs and moving on to something else. With the Seven of Pentacles, there is the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups illustrates a knight. This can be, this can be a knight in shining armor coming in for you. But I'm not really getting that. This is like, this is your golden opportunity here. You see that he's in a desert, but he's in an oasis. And there is a stream running through it. And there's like like bushery and shrubs and stuff like that. So something is not working out with this tower and you need to take, you need to see it before it, it happens. So maybe your relationship's not working or your job is not working and you need to leave it before the shit hits the fan. You're being encouraged to take risk that calculated risk smart risks that either to start something new on your own or to look at where your money is uh, and according to what you want. This is general reading, so it's gonna look like different differently for everybody. But there's this is this this environment that we're in right now is very fertile for you to plant seeds, take advantage of uh, things to expand and grow. So He's taking this and he's going somewhere else and he's going to plant it somewhere else where it maybe it's going to grow even a better, better crop with more fertile environment that's going to nourish it to become its full potential. So your current environment is not nourishing you enough right now and it's not allowing you to step into your own highest potential. Okay, so you need to, you're being encouraged to take a calculated risk to perhaps leave whatever it is that isn't nourishing you, that it's not reciprocating the energy that you're back and utilize this energy right now that we're in to plant the seeds knowing that it's going to yield a better crop for you. And then with the Knight of Wands, we have the Eight of Wands. Fast moving momentum here. If you're taking advantage of this energy, you're going to see some swift changes and this can be swift communication coming in. So if you're putting your resume out there, you're going for, you might be getting interviews very quickly, updating your websites, putting yourself out there with respects to the dating scene too, right? It's going to look differently for everyone. Um, or when you start doing research about financial situations, you're going to start getting like, a lot of information is going to be coming in quickly for you. And this is going to help you like start something new, start some step into this new energy of building something for yourself. So this is old, the old building is collapsing and now you're being encouraged to build something of your own, build something of your own, be your own boss, be your own, be your own source of nourishment. Okay. Let's end off with an animal oracle card here. We have the lion. The lion, the king of the jungle. You have within you the courage, all the courage that you need. Let go of the past and reclaim your majesty, right? Like stop holding on to the past. Ah. <laughs> uh. You will find success and contentment with those by your side. 
Make noble choices for your life and your tribe. Confidence, bravery, power, leadership, maj majesty, business, pride, patience, enthusiasm, rising sun, and passion. Lion is a symbol for royalty, mastery, and power. It is also a strong female archetype. Lionesses do the hunting, care for the young, and survive because of their cooperation. Lionesses create a carefree existence for their playful cubs. Lions are one of the few cats that live in a community. The pride lives in the moment without care. The male lions are charged to be protective, passionate, and possessive. If lion is your totem, use stealth and patience when pursuing your dreams for success. If you are a lioness, know you are a responsible, a great leader, and a provider. You work well in a team. Some lion people need to look out for self-absorption and vanity. The evolved lion person is given the task of protecting the pride and especially the young. Lion can be invoked in times of threat and are a great for force against negative energies. Call upon lion for confidence, vitality, and the power to stand your ground with confidence. Some things to keep in mind are, is your ego out of control? Remember humility. Lion people need to look out for self-absorption, laziness, and vanity. Is it time to cooperate more? Successful lions need the pride. Let go of conflict and remain and reclaim your nobility. If this reading resonated for you, my dear Capricorn, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel if that's something that you'd like to do. You could also hit that bell notification to let you know when I release new videos. And if you want a more holistic approach as to what is going on with your week, not only check out your sun sign, but also your moon, your rising, and your Venus. I am truly grateful for your energy. Thank you so much for watching, my dear Capricorn. Have a wonderful day.